Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to grow on YouTube, but this time on Studio Beta by using the analytics inside. And guys, yeah, this is the second episode of how to grow on Studio Beta. But now, guys, I'm going to show you how to get more views, more subscribers, and most importantly, more watch time. So stay until the end of this video if you want to see all of them. As you may know, watch time is the most important element of growing your YouTube channel. Um, guys, for the rest of this tutorial, I'm not going to show my face cam because, like, sometimes um, my face cam's in the way and I'm blocking some things, so I want you to show the full screen. Okay, so first, basically, what you want to do is go to video. You're going to choose um, any video in particular, but you definitely need, need info cards and end screen. So let's say this one. And I'm also going to be showing you where exactly you should put the um, info cards. Um, just to show you how do you add them, I already did add them, but just to show you, you're just going to click cards down here. And then here you can add the cards in which time. Okay, you guys, so we have three cards right now, but let's say it's not enough, so we want to add like another one. So we're going to click card, video or playlist. Obviously here you could choose a video or playlist. I usually choose playlist, but um, basically you can choose any other video. Uh, let's say for example, I'm just going to put like family gaming. Create card. And so obviously guys, it's at zero seconds. Uh, guys, obviously if they're going to click your video, they're not going to click the card right away. I'm going to show you where you should put your first card in a second, but for now I'm just going to put it, put it in like right here. And in Studio Beta, this actually um, saves automatically. And you go to Return to Studio Beta. Unfortunately, it doesn't re uh, return to the main video, so we have to come back again. Okay, so now what you want to do is do end screens because at the end of the video, if they want to get off. Before they get off, you might want to put an end screen so they click on your video. Um, so basically, you want to say use template. We already have an end screen, but we just want to show you guys. So let's say, um, let's replace uh, the other one when you have with a different one. Let's say this. See right here. The cool thing about it is that you can still move the elements around. Also, make sure they don't cover each other. They're not going to work. Um, this is an end screen and only lasts for like 20 seconds. So you want to put the end screen before you even start wrapping up your video. Okay, now you want to choose a video or playlist for each video. And also sometimes you can click best for viewer. They're going to choose videos that um, maybe your audience is going to be like. So let's say this. But now you can choose best for viewer for both. So you have to choose another one. And guys, since this is a tutorial video, we're going to choose a tutorial. And now click save again. And there you go. Now go to studio beta again. I'm going to show you how many seconds and minutes into the video it's going to be the best for the info cards. When you produce the video, you want to put info cards right away. Um, wait for three to, t to five days, and then you can get a better understanding of the analytics, so you can see if the um, where you place the info cards is good or not. But if not, then place them somewhere else. But I'm gonna show you where you should place the info cards right now to get more watch time. You go to analytics. Here's the most important part of the video, actually. The most important part of the video is audience retention. Okay, so when you look over here, um, how long people watch it is on average 2 minutes and 35 seconds, aka audience retention. So they watch it for that long. And guys, at this case, you want to go back to info cards and place it at 2 minutes and 25 seconds. So like 10 seconds before they leave, at least they get a chance to click another video. And before, it was basically at 2 minutes, but now I'm going to move it so it's going to be in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Like this. And yeah, guys, before the, the, uh, the average people leave at 2 minutes and 35 seconds, but before they leave, they have a chance to click on a video which I put an info card there. So now as you watch it, the card's supposed to pop up when, right when they're about to leave. See, there you go. Suggested piece for tutorials. And that's how you know where to put the first info card in your video, the first one. Okay, now I'm gonna check out some analytics that are useful, so click videos. I'm gonna check out some video that's not popular first. 
So guys, let's say this PewDiePie video. I got you analytics. Look guys, this is a very bad video. Um, it, it made me lose two subscribers. Okay, now you go to reach viewers. And look, this is the important part. It, basically, 1.2 thousand impressions. Impressions mean basically how many times people saw my video. Uh, what I mean, not like watch my video. How many of them like saw the thumbnail of my video. And this is basically how many people um, click my video from that. So basically, guys, 1.2 thousand people saw that thumbnail, but 100 people actually watched the video. And guys, the watch time average is not um, a lot. See, they only watch 1 minute and 10 seconds. That's not a lot, guys. Look, guys, and that's good. 73% what is my subscriber that watched my video, but 24% is not subscribed and they watched the video. Okay, so basically you want this reversed. You want like 30 to 40 to p percent of people who that's gonna be subscribed to your um, channel and watch the video, but you also want like at least 70% like that's not subscribed or 60 so they can see your channel and they can also subscribe from that video and that's going to turn into a huge potential to grow and guys as i said before i lost two subscribers because of the video but now i'm going to show you a really good video okay so now i'm going to do a gaming video i'm going to show you a good example of a gaming video and then i'm going to also do a tutorial video and also if you if you see some good video you might want to do a similar type but not do don't but don't do the one like before because that that was not good okay guys we're gonna put it on lifetime i mean it's not because like it has 10,000 views by the way guys thank you so much for getting this to 10,000 views but that's not the point look over here the audience retention is two minutes and 48 seconds they watch it on average it's not a lot, but guys, it's way better than 1 minute and 10 seconds. And look, this video is actually really good. It gained me 70 subscribers. Guys, this is going to be an important part. So we're going to go to reach viewers. And also, you guys want to reach um, new viewers. It's good that your subscribers are watching your videos, but if you can reach a new audience, then you're going to get like way more watch time and way more views and subscribers. This is the only way to grow your channel if you have new audience. And guys, look, the traffic source types. Look at the top two. The top two are suggested videos, 58%, and YouTube search, 26.3%. That is really good for reaching new audience. Like people, um, YouTube is actually suggesting your videos. So that's really good. And you guys, 26.3% were searching this on YouTube. So they're probably like searching mini golf king videos because they want to know like how to get like free codes or something. I don't know. But they searched it up and 26.3% searched it up and found my video. And that's really good. It may not seem a lot, but guys, basically that's 2,600 views that they searched it up. So 2,600 people found it. And also, if you if you have these traffic source types on the top of your video, then you're really doing good. It should be like the opposite that YouTube search should be on top and bottom so it should be suggested videos, but it's perfectly fine. As long as these two um, source types are in the top, then you're really doing well. You're reaching outside your audience. Uh, the previous video only had 8% click-through rate, which was pretty good, but this one had 9.5% click-through rate. Keep in mind, most of these people are basically outside of my audience, so this is really good. It's also almost 1 in 10 strangers clicked on my video. It's awesome. And that's how you know if your videos are going to actually click. And guys, look at this. Even though my views weren't going that much up, but it was it's still growing even today. But look, guys. Look, January 11 in 2018, it was growing and now it's still going in 2019. So almost a year and it's still going. It's about and it's almost going to be a year and a half. Okay, so yeah, this is really good. So even though I'm not getting um that much views every day, but still every day, guys. But now I'm going to show you a really good video. Okay, guys, this is actually my top video. And you guys, you can see when it was uploaded in 2018, September 23. And guys, look, over here when I uploaded it, I am not. I wasn't getting that much views. It's getting very little views. But almost for two months, 
after two months, I started going up and boom, boom, boom. Every day now, I keep getting views. Look at that. Now every day, almost like more than a hundred is crazy. It seemed like the views are off limits, but guys, look at the audience retention. It was a little less than, than the last one, but it's fine, guys. In the last two days, basically 48 hours, I got 522 views, which is insane. Guys, look at the traffic source types. Look, YouTube search, 85%. So most of the people were searching this video on YouTube, how to face cam. Oh my, 85% of them. Guess what the tr second traffic source is? Suggested videos, so this is really good. So the total is 91 per, more than 91% for these two traffic sources only. And also, if you see a video like this, um, basically you wanna do the same video. So you might not wanna make the same video, just make it similar, like basically, like this was face cam like a pro. Maybe you wanna do like face cam um, in mobile or face cam basically like on PlayStation. Just don't do the same video because if you do the same video, then it'll be repetition but and also don't copy my video no just kidding just kidding guys what about what i basically mean is that you can't copy my video exactly and guys remember when i told you about um basically end screens well in this video uh, for the end screen i got 2.3 percent guys it's not basically a lot but at least i get some free views basically from this for this video 800 views for the end screen on another video led to this video. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you, hopefully this helped you out. So um, guys, if you basically like make a video, guys go to the statistics and um, if it has like high um, YouTube searches and suggested videos, then do the same similar video. And guys, if I do my like Fortnite videos, guys, of course not, they're not gonna search it. But um, if it's going to be like a good video, then you might want to do the similar one. So I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. And guys, see you next time. Bye, guys.